Welcome back to the show. If one of your New Year's resolutions happen to be eating healthier, whether it's dietary or whether you simply just want to feel better about yourself, our next guest can help you with just that. We're joined by Kim Gertler. She's a certified sports nutrition and personal fitness trainer. Happy New Year. Great to have you too. back, Kim. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Now, I'm sure over the years you've had many, many clients that do the New Year's resolutions, and it lasts till about now. Yeah. About yes. today yeah. would be... <laughs> What it seems to end. What is the biggest reason you think most people fail? Well, I think people set unrealistic expectations. It's about keeping it simple. It's also finding a resolution that you want to do. Mm -hmm. It's not about what your wife, husband, partner, friends want. It's what you want to do. Right. But the most important thing is making it realistic. Okay. Right. If you're uh, a, 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 um, a couch potato watching TV potato chips, you know, and drinking pop all the time, you're not about to get off the couch and go run a marathon and become vegan overnight. It takes planning, and it's just about setting small goals and uh, being successful along the way. You see that in the gym a lot. You yes. know, the people yeah. get a gym membership, that's it, I'm doing it, this is the year I'm doing it, and then at around mid-February, they're all cleared out and we get our machines back. That's right. That's right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So right. That's right. It's only very friends true. that look forward to February. Okay, now the, the gym's finally empty and I get my three machines that I do my circuit on back, exactly. right? Exactly. Well, and I know I... I Honestly, what happens for a lot of people, and Randall from Shea 106 was saying this on the radio yesterday, he decided he would he would go to the gym, and this is his, he went seven days in a row to begin with. Oh, yeah, well, you're, yeah, you're going to yeah. get turned off. Like, oh, yeah. He's gone from couch potato that you just described, that I'm in there seven days a week. Exactly. That can be dangerous, too. Oh, well, you, right? you can injure yourself, and then you're, then you're hooped for a month or two, right? That's right, and it turns you off, right? Oh, totally. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, let's start with healthy eating. One of the oh. things that you mentioned was getting more vegetables in your diet. Yes, that is such an easy thing to do, and we cannot eat enough vegetables. Mm -hmm. Vegetables are an excellent source of vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and fiber. They're a complex carbohydrate, which means that they keep that steady flow of energy through the day. You don't have those peaks and valleys when you eat tons of sugar and, and refined carbs, right? right? Complex carbohydrates is where you want to get your energy from. And uh, you get that from vegetables uh, mainly, right? Mm -hmm. right. So, and it's, it can be very simple as adding a handful of spinach to your smoothie. Or, and honestly, it will change the look of your smoothie. It will not change the, the taste <laughs> of it. I buy those for big, big, we both do that, right? Like yeah. I, I get those big, big bags of uh, baby spinach and I put like six cups of yes. spinach in, a little bit, half a banana, yeah. you know? If you you're right. throw that whole bag in the freezer, so you take it out, put your handfuls in, and you're ready to could go. Could you use right? those frozen cubes of spinach? Is that just as... I'm sure you could. Why not? Yeah. As long as you have the right kind of blender. Yes, yes, the blender makes a, big difference. It makes a big difference. What are we preparing here today? Oh, well, today we're making a minestrone because one really easy way of adding vegetables to your diet is with soups. Mm -hmm. okay. And whether you like a chunky soup or a smooth soup, it doesn't matter. Blender will smooth it up, right? So right. this is on and it's warm. So we're going to add a bit of oil to begin with. Okay. And minestrone is a great Italian soup, right? So you have just like a a swoosh of olive oil, yeah, swoosh. about a tablespoon or two, and then there you'll be on spoon duty okay. to begin with. And Spinning then you're gonna it. add. I spy with my little eyes. <laughs> exactly. you know how old oh. that spoon is? Very old. Is it? Very it's like old. a family heirloom. Like I better take care of it. Here. Exactly. Okay. Let's add some onions and some garlic in there because right. everything Italian starts with garlic and onions, or actually anything delicious starts with Agreed. garlic and onions. It's true. Oh and yeah. It's, and it's great. Those are great winter vegetables too because they have. Um, Allison group, you know, onions and garlic, yeah. they've got, uh, they're antimicrobial and antibacterial, right? Oh, great time. We Thank totally you. should. You should. I know. She always surprises me with her knowledge of things like this. So, Perfect. when you're trying to lose weight, I've been told to avoid things like Brussels sprouts and the starchy vegetables because, mm -hmm. you know, they, they do have a lot of sugar. They do. But, they, but there's also that whole question of the carbohydrates, right? So, yes. What, what's the what's the answer on that? Where do we well, stand? you want to avoid white stuff. White rice, white potatoes, white bread. Anything white is a simple refined carbohydrate. It will break down quickly and turn into sugar in your body. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You get your carbohydrates from vegetables, from whole grains, from fruits. They have way more nutrition in them. They stick to your body a lot longer. And they're very delicious. Right. Very oh, delicious. This are, see, this is already this a is meal awesome. for me. This is awesome. Look at so that. It smells so, so good. delicious. All now, right, to that, we've some carrots. We're going to have to chop some carrots. Okay. You can chop them Do you want to do? Yeah, I'll do exactly this. Okay. 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 Yes, so Make them big because we will be blending this. Now, okay. the key to this soup is it can be made in 20 minutes flat if you chop things small. Right. If you make them bigger, it will simply take a little bit longer. Right. Right? No big right. deal. So in the winter, this is a question, you know, like if you are into organic and, mm -hmm. and all that sort of stuff, 
Um, how do you ensure a really good variety of fresh vegetables that are, are not just going to be your winter vegetables? Oh, frozen fruit and veggies. Frozen right. vegetables are fantastic. Right. Because they have to be ripe when they're they frozen, They have to right? be ripe. They're frozen. They're flash frozen. They're delicious. They're almost even better than some of the fresh fruit we find in our oh, supermarket. Really? Yes, because they're picked fresh mm -hmm. from the source and then they're shipped to us, right? And they're easy to store. I mean, yeah. Costco sells this massive bag of a mix of 11 Japanese vegetables. You yes. add that to some broth and some noodles and tofu and chicken, you've got a fabulous yes. 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 vegetable that. soup. And same thing with stir fries, right? Now let's add some of those chickpeas to okay. the, or add the tomatoes. You well, pick no, dinner, really. Chickpeas. It doesn't matter. I love chickpeas. Now, oh, chickpeas right. in a can, you want to soak them. Oh, and if you okay. can, you find the ones that are low in sodium or no salt. And why okay. do you have to soak them? Uh, it kind of rinses them off. Okay. It helps minimize the side effects of perhaps eating a lot of fiber from legumes. Oh, yeah. you know what we mean? Well, let's we'll have to get into detail yeah, on that. Yeah, the now let's have the tomatoes okay. on top of that. And there you go. Now, if you plan to um, have a chunky soup, you'd want to get the diced tomatoes. Right. Now, right. I okay. have the whole tomatoes because I'm going to puree You're going to puree it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because then you can hide even thing. more vegetables in. Exactly. And nobody knows. Nobody, nobody knows. knows. Now, to this, you add some stock. Now, you'll add about four cups of stock. And again, you're looking for the low sodium kind of stock. Right. Put back on that salt intake, right? Now, the other great thing about the soup is we've just added tomatoes, carrots, celery, onion, and garlic. Right. We will be adding a bunch of spinach to it later on. Okay. But you can add sweet potato, broccoli, cauliflower. Looks amazing. You name it. You can put it in. And if you've got kids who are finicky, that's where the blender, the immersion blender yep. comes in. Right. Turns this thing into a smooth, creamy consistency, and it's really fabulous. Now, we put chickpeas in the soup, but you can put any legume you want. A lighter colored legume simply means the soup will look prettier okay. than if you went with the black bean let's say mm -hmm. but it, it's just as good with any type of bean absolutely when it uh, obviously with your areas of expertise you know physical activity I, I mentioned you know Randall as an example mm -hmm. you know he wants to eat the foods that he's always eaten and go to the gym and work his butt off uh, that's probably not the best <laughs> no. way to go about mm -hmm. it how important is nutrition when it comes to you know your, your physical health. It's huge. I mean, nutrition, uh, eating well helps ward off tons of diseases, right? It also makes you feel good. Mm -hmm. right. And it also, to lose weight, you need to eat differently. Exercise absolutely is very important to be healthy and to help manage your weight and to build muscles. But really, eating is what's going to help you. Eating well is what's going to help drive that weight loss. It's about okay. drinking lots of water, staying away from those refined sugars, those pops, those juices, and sneaking in those vegetables. Every meal you should have vegetables, and mm -hmm. ideally, Half your plate should be filled with vegetables. And I know that at first, to tell someone who's not a vegetable fan to say, oh, half your plate should be veggies, you know, it's not going to happen. It's like yeah. going to the gym seven days a week. <laughs> right. So it's about maybe adding a few baby carrots to your lunch with hummus right. or ranch dressing. And then it's about adding a green salad with your lunch or with your dinner at every meal. It's, it's those baby steps so that you end up being successful and building on each step along the way. And right. not thinking that half your plate has to be baby carrots. It can be no. three different kinds of vegetables. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Right? A little salad or a soup Absolutely. to start with. And I make soup every day in the winter. Oh, good And you. the kids come home and they're like, what's that oh, great yeah. smell? Oh, yeah. I make my favorite is a, is a mushroom soup. And mm. I just sweat the mushrooms first, like mm -hmm. a little bit of olive oil, some garlic, some fresh uh, rosemary. Mm. And then it's a cream of mushroom soup. I puree it nice. and put in like a tablespoon of low-fat uh, cream cheese. Oh, perfect. So That's rather delicious. than the cream, yeah. and it's so good, and it's Why so low-fat. Why aren't you fat. making this on the show? I know. I don't know. You have you on a Tuesday <laughs> and make us one of your soups. I love soup. I really I love it. And as I think for... <laughs> Did you want to try this again there? Uh, now, the reason why I'm going to say this is last time she got, I accidentally unscrewed the top instead of just use the cream. Oh, very good. Look, it's a beautiful wow. Hey, hey. So now you would let this cook for about 15, 20 minutes, depending on how um, thick your vegetables are. And then right. once that's done, you take the immersion blender. If you want a smooth soup, we're not right. going to do it now because nothing is really right. cooked. And then you make it nice and smooth. Right. And then once it's nice and smooth, then you take your big box of spinach of pre-washed leaves. And you mm -hmm. just take a couple handfuls and you throw it in there. Right. Okay. And then it's delicious. And right before you serve it, you would chop up some basil, which I haven't done yet because I want to show you. An easy way of storing fresh herbs. Fresh herbs go wilty, slimy, yeah. icky in the fridge. Mm -hmm. You need to rinse them when you get them. Wrap them in a scoff towel. Put them in your plastic bag. And they will stay fresh 
Look at that. For a couple Excellent. of days. Yeah. Oh, if not a week. I had cilantro last almost 10 days. No kidding. Really? Yes, earlier this Because there's this nothing fall. more frustrating. No, exactly. Right. right. You exactly. buy a big thing of it. You only yeah. use a little bit for one particular meal. And, and it comes out slime. It's That's gone. right. So yeah. you rinse it, dry it, wrap it in a Scott towel, put it in the baggie, store it in the fridge, and it will last quite a while. Perfect. Excellent. And then you slice your basil up, and a lot of the flavor comes from the onion, garlic, and tomatoes, but also from fresh Basil, fresh yeah. spice and the herbs. Smell comes in. Oh, great way to finish it off. Fabulous, yes. Kim, yeah, thank delicious. you so much for joining us. Well, again. thank you. Real pleasure yeah. having you thank on the show you. Again. You can visit Kim's website, find out more information to get in touch with her to help turn your life around. Don't go away. More daytime coming up right after this.